Hi guys, how you doing? I'm Jay from BornToProduce.com. I hope you're well. And welcome to our brand new Cubase 8 free bootcamp course. This is lesson one. And we're going to get you started making beats straight away. So let's get to it. So when you first load up Cubase, you should see the Steinberg hub. And all this is, is just some sort of news and updates on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you've got some templates that you can choose to get you started quite quickly. But for what I want to show you today, we're going to start from a blank canvas. So I want you to click more and empty and then click create. Okay, I'm just going to close down the mixer window for now and the audio pool. We'll come into that in a second. And before we start making beats, I just want to check one thing on your sound settings. Click devices at the top and device setup and then click VST Audio System. And from this drop down menu, I want you to choose your sound card. So if you have a dedicated sound card like us, we're using the Fireface, click that. And if you're using the sound card that come with your computer, then click Generic Low Latency ASIO Driver. And then click OK. And one more thing before we get started, click Project, Project Setup, and just check that your sample rate is set to 44.1. Click OK, and off we go. Let's make some beats. Now, the first thing I want to do is import some drum samples so we can start making a drum loop. So where do we get samples from? Well, you can buy them from various websites, but I'm going to show you how to get some free ones. We all like a freebie. So click the link under this video, and you'll come to the Loop Masters website. Loop Masters have hundreds and hundreds of different sample packs which you can purchase, um, all sorts of different genres, synth presets, you name it, they've got it here. But I'm going to show you a way how to get some free samples. So all you need to do is set up a free account and then log back into your account and start browsing. I recommend you go to genres and then choose the genre of your choice. For this example, I'm just going to choose Deep House. I'm just going to scroll down and go to Deep Vocal House because it's got some loops and one shots. And where it says Download Taster Pack, I'm just going to click that. We're going to download a few of these samples that are within the paid for version, but it's going to give us a few freebies to get us started. Happy days. So now you've got your free samples, let's get them into Cubase. So we want to open up the audio pool because this is where we audition our samples and import them. Go to project at the top and click audio pool or just press control and P, which is what I'm going to do now. And click import. And this is where you can audition your sounds. So we've got hat, snare, deep kick and a loop. Uh, you can press play down here to hear them and you can loop the sound if you want by clicking this button. So let's just bring in the kick. And now you can see that we have the kick in the audio pool. Now we can drag it into Cubase's arrangement window like so. Just plonk it down anywhere for the moment. And Cubase has automatically created an audio track for us. Thank you Cubase. Now we need to zoom in a little bit. So if you come down to the right bottom right hand corner and click on these pluses and minuses, it zooms in. And you can do the same vertically as well. Okay, so just going to drag this right to the start of the arrangement window on bar one, beat one. And this highlighted blue region here is where our loop will start and finish. So you can drag the right hand loop by clicking and dragging, and the same for the left hand side of the loop, which is the start point. Zoom in a touch more by dragging down this time in the timeline. And you'll see that this kick drum is slightly too long for what we need. You can see here it says 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. These are the beats within the bar. So this is a bar, one to two, two to three, and these are the beats within the bar. So let's just drag the bottom right hand corner of this sample so it just fits in with one beat. And whenever you do a change like that on a sample it's always best to grab the top right hand corner of it which is the audio envelope and just drag it in slightly which will just fade out 
slightly that audio. It stops any clicks or pops or any unwanted noises. Now we're going to copy the kick across. So hold down the Alt key, click and drag, and it will snap to the next beat. Let's make sure the loop is on by clicking on the transport bar. And incidentally, if you don't see the transport bar, you can toggle it on and off with the F2 button. Make sure cycle is on and hit play. Now I mentioned earlier that Cubase is very kindly snapping the audio to a grid for us, which makes it very, very easy for us to place these audio samples. This is controlled at the top here. See this button here says snap on, snap off. If I was to take that off, I can now position this piece of audio anywhere I like. It doesn't help me in this particular example because I want to place it on the beat, but it could be useful for placing, let's say, a vocal or something like that. So let's click that back on, and you can change the grid that it snaps to here. At the moment, it's on an eighth of a bar. Let's say, for example, we use one bar, it's only going to snap to bar one or bar two, nothing in between. So let's put that back to one eighth. And incidentally, just make sure you have use quantize selected at the top here. That is what tells Cubase to look at this value here, one eighth. Okay, let's get some more sounds in. Let's get a snare or a clap in. So let's go to the audio pool, control P, import, Snare, open, and let's drag in the snare to the second audio track. Don't worry if there's not a track there, Cubase will, you know what, create it for you. Now in a 4-4 time signature, a typical modern dance track, the snare will probably go on beat 2 and beat 4. So let's just Alt and copy that across, hold down Alt, click and drag, to beat two and four again on the second bar, and let's just see what that sounds like. Okay, we're getting there. Let's now bring in the hats. And then we have the hat in the pool as well. Let's drag in hats to a blank track. Thank you, Cubase. You've created a track for us. That's great. If I wanted to create my own track, I can just right click in the window here, click Add Audio Track, and I can choose a stereo or a mono track here. I'm going to click Cancel for now because I already have a track created. Now, the hats usually go on the offbeat, offbeat to the kick, that is. And just copy these across using Alt as we did before. And let's just hear what that sounds like. Okay, that hat sample is a little bit lower than the rest, so we're going to highlight them all and just show you, just zoom in a touch, and just show you there is a volume function on every single audio sample that you bring in, and that's the middle top button here. So if you just click and drag that up, we can now increase the waveform. If you wanted to reduce it, obviously drag it down. And you can see the waveform changing there. A couple of other useful features here are the envelope, which we've already touched on. You can click and drag the right-hand envelope to fade out, or you can click and drag the top left envelope to fade in. Let's just show you what that sounds like. You can hear that's quite changing the sound quite a bit there. Okay, now I want to undo that. So Control Z all the way, many times as you like. And if you go too far like that, just Control Shift Z to put them hats back to where they were. Okay, so let's get on with some more fun stuff. Hit F3 for the mixer, and I'll show you a couple of things here. Let's rename the track. The one that says audio one, let's let's name that snare. 
So double click on it, type in snare, and you'll see that it has also changed the name in the arrangement window as well. Thank you very much Cubase for that. And similarly, if I want to rename the hat to hat so one, for example, and we hit F3 to go back to the mixer, you'll see that this track has now been renamed as well. So whatever you do in, in the arrangement window affects the mixer window and vice versa. And we have some volume faders in the mixer. So let me just show you that if I pull down the hats fader, we'll start losing the volume on the hats. Pretty basic stuff, I know, but this is for all you newbies out there. If you're a little bit more advanced than this, then move on to some of our other videos. You can also see we've got a red warning down here, so we've got a bit of clipping, which means our volume's a bit too loud. So let's just bring down the master fader, which is called Stereo Out. And let's show you some more fun stuff. Make sure you've got the Show Hide Channel Racks clicked. So if your mixer looks like this when you first load it up, click this button here. Where we get access to the EQ and the inserts and lots of fun stuff. So if you want to put reverb on the snare, for example, make sure you're in line with the snare channel and click inserts. Then click on the space where it says no effect and click the reverb plus sign and just choose any reverb plugin. I'm going to use Roomworks. Now it comes with lots of presets, all sorts of different reverb times. I'm just going to choose drums, long snare. I'm going to make this quite an obvious reverb just to get the point across. And there we have some lovely reverb. Lovely. Now we can affect the amount of reverb by this mix control here. Just going to show you how that works. First of all, bring it down to zero. Totally dry. And bringing it up all the way to 100. Obviously, you set this in accordance with your own track. And just very, very quickly, I'm going to touch on the EQ. Obviously, we go into more detail in our other videos. But for now, just going to show you some real basic stuff on the kick drum. Click and drag on the frequencies and we can start taking out the bass, for example. Or you can start boosting the higher frequencies. So carrying on with the basic functions, we can solo the hats, for example, by clicking S on the hats channel. Or mute the hats by clicking M. And we can do the same in the arrangement window. Solo the kick by clicking S and muting the snare by clicking, yes, well done at the back there, M. Go to the top of the class, well done. So we're nearly at the end of the lesson, but I've got one more awesome trick to show you. If you wanted to work with loops as opposed to these one-shot samples here, and that's absolutely fine if you want to do that as a beginner, I'm going to show you a neat little trick where you can bring in any loop and it doesn't have to be the right tempo. Cubase is going to sort that out for you. So let's go to Import. I'm going to use a shaker loop. Anyone, any ones of these will do. And click OK. But the only problem here is, see at the top on the transport bar, we're working at 120 beats per minute. And this sample here, this loop, is 128, as you can see here. Now what's going to happen when we bring this in? It's all going to sound out of time. Let me show you what happens. Drag that in to bar one, beat one, and we're going to hit play. As you can hear, it's all out of time. But here's the awesome magic feature of Cubase. Click on shake a loop within the audio pool and hit the musical box and you'll see in the arrangement window that Cubase has automatically time stretched this shake a loop to fit with our track i.e. it's changed it from 128 bpm to 120 awesome 
all perfectly in time. So there we have it, guys. There's a whistle-stop tour to all the basic functions of Cubase. We got started making beats straight away. I hope it's been useful to all you newbies out there, and make sure you check out the rest of our bootcamp course. In the next lesson, John starts making a track with you from start to finish, and you can follow along with us. He teaches you how to make a drum loop, bass line, and we also go through effects, we go through the arrangement, and we go through some mixing and mastering techniques as well. So make sure you join us for that by clicking the link underneath this video, where you'll get access to our free bootcamp course for Cubase 8. So all the best then, guys. I hope you've learned a lot. See you later.